I'm Robin Higgins, and this is the chemistry of fragrances. So why do certain molecules have smells and others don't? Well, let's take a look at water, which doesn't really have a very strong smell. Now, water has a strong dipole moment, which means that it has positively charged hydrogens and negatively charged oxygens. Of course, just partial charges. So partial negative, partial positive. Now, these two water molecules are going to interact, forming a hydrogen bond here, which means that it has covalent bonds within the molecule and hydrogen bonds connecting the different molecules. And if we had a glass of water, all of the thousands or millions of water molecules would all be connected with these hydrogen bonds. And that's a really strong network, which means that the water is going to stay in a liquid. It's not going to come up. So if you have a glass of water, it stays there. Now let's take a look at a carbon chain. Now, a carbon has really no strong dipole moment. It's just carbons and hydrogens. And if you have two of them together, there is a little bit of London forces in between them, but nothing like this really strong hydrogen bonding. So there's nothing keeping all of these molecules together, which means if you have a cup of some carbon chain or some oil, uh, it's going to have a pretty high vapor pressure. It's going to be floating into the atmosphere because they don't care if they're connected to each other or not. And this occurrence, this fact that it has a high vapor pressure and there will be lots of gaseous molecules is why things have smell because these gas molecules of this exact same thing actually reach your nose. So that decides if something is going to have a smell or not. Now let's take a look at three different very smelly compounds. First, we have benzaldehyde. And now this is actually a smell of almonds. As we can see, mostly carbons and hydrogens, just one oxygen, and it's not an alcohol. Next, we have lemonine, which I'm sure you can guess what that smells like. It smells like oranges. Tricked you. It also kind of smells like lemons. Again, carbons and hydrogens only. And lastly, down here, we have geranylacetate, and this actually smells like roses. So, mostly a long carbon chain, a couple of oxygens, but no places for hydrogen bonding. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been The Importance of Aromaticity in Compounds. Yeah.